What's going on guys? So behind me, as you guys can see, we have the UC1 spoiler on. Now before I show you guys, um, I did record it, but unfortunately I didn't do such a great job at recording. So I don't know if I'm gonna include the installation of how, or I might show some clips, but they were kind of bad <laughs> and I just don't want to include them. So I think overall, I'm just gonna explain how I did it. So as you can see, we have the UC1 spoiler on. All I basically did was I drilled holes. I used a small drill bit to start off the hole and then I used a bigger one to make a bigger size and then I kept going a bit bigger until I found just the right one to where uh, the bolt will go in. And then on top of that, I lined it up with uh, foam so hopefully water doesn't get in. And on top of foam, I put 3M double-sided tape as well to hold it down. But unfortunately, the double-sided tape isn't strong enough so I need to buy something a bit stronger because it is falling off. Um, but as you guys can see, um, I'll show you guys real quick. This is basically you see one spoiler finally on sorry for making you guys wait so long to see it but as you guys can see it's finally on um, here I'll pop the trunk real quick so I can show you guys um, I think it, it made the trunk a lot heavier so now the trunk doesn't open by itself I have to help it up so as you guys can see I have the two bolts right here one two and then on the other side I have one because there was one missing or it was broken so I couldn't use that one. So as you can see um, on this side I lined it up with double sided tape as well as um, I think it was called like vinyl foam or something like that. But if you guys look close enough, I don't know what you guys can see on the camera, the 3M double sided tape is already starting to lift. Um, I need something a lot stronger. I think the one that I was using was like 15 pounds. So I might need to go something that's a bit stronger than that. And as you guys can see, um, the only part where I messed up like really bad was this right here. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see on the camera either, but it's already starting to lift right here. This part was extremely hard to you know push down and get the vinyl to stay for some reason. And then on top of that, this part right here, I need to basically I, basically I need to redo this whole piece right here because it didn't come out the way I would have liked it for it to come out. Um, I don't know why it was so hard to wrap, but it was, and um, I think I just might redo it overall once I take this wing off to get the when I, to get um different vinyl or 3M double-sided tape on here. And as you guys can remember from the first video, I said there was a white spot. Um, it's sort of cleared up, but I can sort of still see it right here. So overall, um, if you guys are wondering why I didn't paint this or um, I didn't do it some other way. Um, the reason I decided to vinyl, vinyl wrap it was because it was going to be a lot cheaper. Uh, the vinyl wrap cost me like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. 
And if I would have had it painted, I would have to had someone, I would have to done it myself or had someone sand it down for me because it is a, painted in white and then primer it and have someone paint it. And if you guys can remember my uh, bumper cost me 165 bucks to get it painted. So I would assume this would have cost me anywhere about a hundred and something dollars as well to get painted. So that's the only reason why I didn't get it painted. But in the future, I might get it painted the same color as a car. So there's that. But other than that, I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, you guys can see right there. It does, uh, if you look at it from the side, I love how it looks from the side. See right there how much it sticks out. But overall, super happy with it. Um, let me let me know what you guys think about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually gonna head home right now. I'm at the spot where I usually take pictures. I'm gonna head home right now because um, I'll explain to you guys when I get home. But my bottom part, the bottom part that goes underneath my car, that bottom grill, um, it fell off. I was going to San Diego for a concert, and for some reason, um, I don't know what happened, but. Um, like 15 minutes into the drive, I hear like this strong wind noise. It sounds like almost if you had rolled down your window just a tad bit just to let enough air in where it made that high pitch noise. Um, it may started making that noise, so we pulled over real quick and I noticed that the whole bottom part, the one that goes down there, completely fell off and I, my car is basically dragging it, which was that loud noise. So I basically what I had to do is I, <laughs> I had to get my knife and cut it off because I couldn't drive like that. So I cut it off, ordered a new one, and I got the new one like a week ago, but um, if you guys don't know, those clips that hold it down, if you don't order them online and you try buying them from the store, they're super expensive. They're like $2 or a dollar each. Well, for two is basically like $2. They come in a pack of two. And if you buy them online, you can get like 40 for like five bucks. So I had to order them online, and today's finally my first free day um, that I'm not at work. But I am going to be going hanging out with some friends at Fullerton later. So I better get going. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the car so far, how it sits. Really happy with it right now. And yeah, so I'll see. So I got the car in the garage right now. I'm about to jack it up just because it's a lot easier to do um, installation. So where is that piece? It's right here. So I'm going to put my phone down real quick. But this is the piece I'm talking about. Oops. Chicken wire from the last project we did. Um, but this is basically what I'm talking about that bottom cover that goes underneath the car It fell off. I don't know how um, but it fell off and it started dragging So basically when I pulled over half of this was gone because of how much uh, it was dragging so um, I basically one of the sides the clips came out easily, but I think it was this side um, Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this side the clip was on there tight and I didn't have anything with me besides my knife or my box cutter, why am I calling it a knife? It's my box cutter. So basically what I had to do was I had to get my box cutter and cut like this piece off. And I was able to remove this and put it in my trunk. And then for the remainder of the trip, I um, I didn't have a bottom grill. And until now it's been about two weeks. So I'm finally gonna be able to do that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of me taking off the, or jacking up the car. So let me set up the camera real quick. Alright guys, so I replaced all the clips and as you guys can see that new thing or the new bottom grill It's back on. I think I believe it's called the splash guard But um, the only reason I didn't put it on is because I'm missing all these clips down here and Got them all on so there is a couple down here One right here a couple down there down there There is one on the side wheel of this one and then two on that side so it was a pretty easy fix, but it was just a pain in the ass to get this off and on. And yeah, but it's on now, so hopefully it'll stay on.
And while I was doing that, I also replaced... Why is there a little bump right there? I don't know. But I replaced these ones as well. Because these were all broken. So uh, the next thing I probably will need to replace are these uh, shocks. Because they no longer support my hood to stay up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to stay tuned because I will be installing that backup camera pretty soon. And um, yeah, so that might be the next video. Or the tweeter video actually might be the next one. But So since I had some time off today, I figured I'd do something I've been meaning to do for a while now. And that is remove that right there. So I... If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the plastic dip on the side of my door, my side of my doors on the trim. As you guys can see, I already took it off on this side. Um, I wanted to take it off because it was starting to peel and it didn't look as good as it did when I first did it. So I thought I'd show you guys of how I'm taking it off. <clears throat> so just to show you guys, as you guys can see, it's starting to peel, starting to look white on this side and it just doesn't look as good anymore. So um, what I'm doing is I'm actually lifting it, but when I try to lift some parts of it, it won't, it'll break off easily and it won't lift the entire plastic dip like it should. And partly that might be because I didn't do enough coats when I first did this, or it's just over time, um, the heat just cracks it to the point where it'll break easily apart. So as you guys can see, um, that part right there staying behind and um, the way I found out to take that off is using this it's called Goo Gone um, I bought this on Walmart for like three bucks so all you really have to do is uh, spray some of it on and then get you know any paper towel or microfiber cloth or whatever I figured I use paper towel because I don't want a, a towel to go to waste so all you really have to do is just Actually, you might need to let it dry on there a bit more, so, oops. Yeah, see, it's a little stuck on there, so I might use a little bit more and let it dry or soak in for a little bit, but all I have to do is just apply the Goo Gone, and it should come off easily. Um, the other side looks great, so as you guys can see there, it came off pretty easy. And right there, it's coming off just like that. Um, I'm going to be washing and cleaning my car after this so I don't care if it gets a bit dirty right now but the reason I started doing this also is because I've noticed my car has a lot of scratches. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see that right there, right there and on the hood of my car I had a lot of scratches too so um, I'm probably going to be using some rubber compound, um, some polish and then waxing it today as well just because you know, I have some free time and might as well get something done, right? So I'll show you guys the end result. Um, personally, from the other side, based on the other side, I don't know how I feel about it. I really did like those black stripes because my car has like a golden black accent to it. But now it just looks plain to me. So I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess I'll see. And if I really miss it, then I'll just do it, redo it again sometime later down the road. But yeah, so... I'll keep you guys updated on what it looks like. Heck, I might even do a time lapse real quick as well. So this is what it basically looks like with all the plastic dip off. As you guys can see now it's the same color as the car. Um, personally, I'm not too sure if I really like this. I kind of like that black stripe. I felt like it sort of gave it a different look and now it's just like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. What do you guys think? Should I left it on? Should I redo it? Um, but yeah, so that was pretty much it. It was really easy to take off with that Goo Gone thing. But 
that's what it looks like so um, right now I'm just gonna focus on getting some uh, scratches out so you guys can see I have one right there I saw another one over here over here um, a couple more right here I don't know where these scratches come from honestly and then I know that my hood was kind of real scratched up over in this area because I feel like when I park my car here people tend to run their hands across the hood or something and I have these really bad ones right here I don't know how well you can see them but it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve really bad like scratches that are into the paint that I might need to sand down so I'll probably do that in the future video but other than that that's what the car looks like now so that's pretty much it going to be for this video I hope you guys enjoyed um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this um, also let me know in the comments what you think about the UC1 spoiler because I'm really liking that but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one